Hello fellow weaves, welcome back to episode 4 of Clanid. Last time, we kind of met the girl and our character is, very, is an asshole. Let's continue on. Ah. Let's click on, do you wish to load? Yes I do. Let's go. I'm looking at it. A distant world. What the hell? It's dim, dark place. Where could this be? I think I'm inside a room. It's deserted though. I can see a desk at least. Someone should be sitting there, but they're not. Not a thing here moves. Only time as it passes by unflinchingly. That's weird. If I were a new life searching for a place to be born, I think that w this would be the wrong place to choose. I'm frightened by it, this world. I've long since come to realize something. This world has always come to an end. Not will be born here again, nor will anything die. Jeez, even time did doesn't exist in this place. Time, nothing new came to an end. Life was once born here, but that was all. Once you're shut in this never-ending world, you can not, can't even ever escape. Only able to die, no one will be born into a new world. That's the frozen world I see. I now see. I'll just close my eyes and leave this place. That's my thinking. Please, next time I wake up, don't let it be here. Let it be better, warmer world. I move my eyes. Ah, and out myself off from this world. No! Just then, I saw a flicker of light. Something moved. I don't know what it is, but I'm sorry. There's something here with me. Had this place not come to an end after all? Or is there something that's always been living here? Light escaped through a window, we used to walk in front of me. Something in its shadow. It's moving. Perhaps I would have seen it if I were able to move my eyes. But I still don't know its true identity. It's moving slowly. Eventually, a light on the walls returns to its original shape. But then, out of nowhere, a single girl appeared before me. I can tell that she's still innocent. Her eyes are transferred in my direction. Can't she see me? She holds out her hand. But doesn't touch me instead it goes right through me yes i haven't been born in this world so i can't be touched but in that case how did that girl notice me am i simply visible that that's it this is the case what do i look like then the girl has pulled back her hand and is now waving to me then she leaves i can't see her anymore someone was here in this place what could she be doing in an already finished world how does she live what nourishes her what if anything is letting her stay alive? For some reason, I can't stop thinking about her. Did you guys how different this place is? I'm so frightened. This is not the world to be born into, but a girl lives here, in it. Is that why? I see this world again. Much of it is boring, unmovable place. From time to time, a girl appears. She and I are able to communicate our thoughts to one another, so all she does is look at me, and all I do is look at her back. But I'm certain that I have been longing for this moment. The girl's life is one of solitude. There's no, no one here beside that much is obvious. But like I said, nothing can be born here, and yet nothing can die. That's the nature of this place. There must be why. Why is she able to look at someone like me? Yet yeah, never get bored. Damn. One day, the, the girl appears in front of me with her arms full of something. They're, they're a piece of both large and small of scrap. Items whose uses are unknown and think I'd be known to describe as junk. The girl spends a long time putting the junk together. How much time has passed? Oh yeah, I remember this actually, guys. This is, because uh, I remember in, in the anime clan, they would do this kind of like, uh, kind of futuristic, kind of like, she's a robot, she, this guy, the guy is talking, is the ro is a robot toy, and it's kind of like a little girl alive, like, you know, it's kind of like in, in a snow, you know, before I know a doll stands in front of her, but half her height, she seems proud that she stands up turning, turning towards me. When I see your face, I finally come to a realization that body is for me. But what am I supposed to do with it? I'm unsure. Should I wish to be born to this world? Has that been my wish? I'm still afraid of this place. 
a world where life or death that can never be escaped. This, this world through the years that closed off, this world would come to an end. The girl has her arm outstretched. I stare at her scrap and scratch it with her hand. This world warm. This world's one source of warmth. At some point, it had become what I sought. Oh, ho. Uh, I, I don't fully know. I don't think they ever explained this. Hmm. Now back to the warm. The warm spring shines down on me. A refreshing breeze blows past. I have plenty of leeway to make it to school on time. If I keep walking the space, there's no way I'll be late. It's not, a, it's not that I believe Fuch Chibia's fortune from yesterday. However, just to be safe, I am walking to school earlier than usual. Then again, to urchins, this might already count as a bit late. There aren't that many people wearing school uniforms along this road anymore. In any case, it's still early enough for me to get to school on time. Now, according to Fuch Chibia's fortune, there should be an old lady having trouble crossing the street. And I believe I wish to help him. Begin with, there isn't an old lady at the cross. I, I glance just beyond the white lines painted like a ladder on the asphalt. I don't like this. When I'm looking, there's an old lady over on me <laughs> with a hip stooped. Oh shit. She keeps laughing left and right. No matter how I look, I think something is wrong. All these students being ignored simply walk past her and arise me. Ooh, ooh. But look at her staring at me. I almost feel like she's suddenly saying, you can't even let that help me out with Oh, is that trouble? Is that like an image nice? Will future's fortune come true? I can't remember her fortune. Talk to the old lady. Or keep walking. Now, I'm kind of thinking, my character is still kind of an asshole. But, fuck it, we'll help. We'll talk to the old lady. Fuck it, sigh. I would really love to point out I didn't see her, but I can't just leave her be. And she's looking at me like that. I guess I'm more of a busybody than I thought. I let her to the side and walk to the crossword. Hey, man. <coughs> she suddenly screams at me. You're trying to cross the street, huh? <coughs> she keeps yelling at me and she's stepping backwards. Like I was saying. I <coughs> what the fuck, lady? <coughs> Say something that makes sense. <coughs> I'm trying to help her. Fine, you old hat. Ah, I'm not. I'm I'm trying to do something nice and <laughs> What the fuck? She takes a step back, straight in her bent back and quickly reached for the ground, right here where her foot was. There's something shining at 500 yen. Believe him like she starts off the ground and runs off speed that would put younger- Hey! Don't tell me she was looking around because she was waiting to pick up the 500 yen coin and did she yell at me so that I wouldn't take her 500 yen? <laughs> What the hell? What the hell are you staring at? <laughs> I was trying to be nice, but, like, but the game was kind of telling me, be an ass. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Run! <laughs> the onlookers scramble away like baby spiders. Jeez, what's with this morning? I'll be tanked and get some money for my troubles. <coughs> oh. Fuji's fortune was a sham, it really was. How I'm any of believing it for even a second. It's been a while since I've attended homeroom. I say attend. I really did was sit here in the classroom. I don't remember things the teacher said. The bell rings and end homeroom. The home teacher walks out of the room. It's now a short week as before first period. Why didn't preparing for a lesson I spaced uh, out. Uh, no. <gasps> Who's that? Hmm? Uh. Ah. With her timid eyes. Hmm. Oh, right, guys, I think we'll leave it at that. I think we'll 
I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.